Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today we will be unboxing and reviewing content of this box. It's another nice presidential limousine going into my collection. This time is one of 200 pieces limited edition of a Citroën 15.6 of Charles de Gaulle French limousine. So let's start it now. Alright, so first let's take this and uh, let's open the box. Yeah? So it's, it's quite big, it's, it's really heavy and don't be confused. Yeah? So this box is actually uh, from Solido, but the content is not Solido. So just the retailer reused a box from some other models, but don't worry, the content will be a bit different. Yeah? I hope they, they just they didn't do any mistake here. Okay. So let's cut it here. Oh, sometimes it's maybe better to use scissors. Eh? I just want it to be a little bit uh, more interesting by using this knife. Okay. Okay, so really we will open it now. This huge box. And actually what I like, sometimes I also, uh, <laughs> I receive uh, some candy, yes, Haribo Goldbeeren, yes, this German uh, snack, all right, so uh, some sugar and uh, the invoice, of course, uh, I paid, oh, how much was that? I think it's about 315 euro, that's the official price outside of where I live, yeah, and Oh, look at that. So actually I have, oh, this is the President Charles de Gaulle. It's a separate box. I actually, I didn't expect it will be in a separate box. And then here, probably it will be the driver, but we will check this all. And just let me put it here for the time. And then we have oh, this, okay, a lot of paper, but we have this Pantheon box. All right, so very nice yellow box so i don't need this big box anymore let me just put it here and put here just this one okay so you see see it here so in the next step i will open now this box and then i will review it okay so as i said here we have this statue and hopefully it's it's a nice one nicely done of the president charles de gaulle who ruled in France uh, some time ago and then we have this box and I'm, I'm not even sure what is actually inside oh maybe maybe it's the roof of the car let's see oh yeah here we have the roof and actually since this is a cabriolet or landaulet landaulet yeah then we have this resin roof and I will check it just later okay so we can choose either this, yeah, very nicely done. Wow, two colors. Or we can use this. So this piece is this folded roof. And let me just put it back for, for a while. And then uh, I will show it to you how to use that on this beautiful model. Okay, so let's put it back to, to the box now. Okay, so let me show you here. This is the car and there is this Charles de Gaulle figure and there is also a driver. He will be probably already in the car. Nice French flag and I'm really curious what will be then inside. Yeah, so. so let's continue with the unboxing here and where should I start? Maybe here. Okay, there is a tape which I usually remove but very gently. And here, okay. And one more tape all right and then we can probably take it out but oh it's a bit sensitive here okay so we have this and now let me open the box Ooh! <laughs> wow it's so beautiful and we have we have the flags here oh come on okay so let me show it to you 
here we have this nice little flag okay and there is a French one and this is probably the presidential one it looks a little bit Slovak yeah. <laughs> but anyway and here and I will now use the chance really to take the camera and show it to you look at that yeah so Fantion uh, 13 Citroen 15 6 H from 1956 Chapron Landaulet Presidential Charles de Gaulle Serie Limited 84 from 200 so this is piece 84 look how this is now packed here yeah so we have some tapes here to uh, keep it in place look at the front and of course I will unbox it yeah of course I will do that but then there is this driver and here is where the president will go Wow, really a nice long limousine. It will fit perfectly. And I also like uh, this diorama, kind of. Yeah, so really, really nicely done. I, I love it. Yeah, this diorama makes it really, really nice. For 315 euro, it's not cheap, but of course it's limited. And for collectors like me who only collect presidential limousines, it's a must-have. Okay guys, so now I found this small piece here and I don't know what it is. It looks like something was a little bit broken and we will discover later what it was. Yeah. So actually now I need to cut those tapes and probably somehow pull it out of this nice box. Yeah, so it can be done like this and yeah. So this base is really beautiful. What is here? Probably there will be some screws. Yeah, it's quite difficult to remove it. Huh. So how do I display it? With the base or without the base? Probably what I do with all my models, I display them without the base. So I will do the same here. But look at this front. Quite nice. I'll, it's a resin model. You cannot open anything, unfortunately. Yeah, those limited models with only 200 pieces like here, they are usually uh, all resin. I haven't really seen a limited uh, die-cast model with only 200 pieces. or <laughs> Because usually if you create a mold uh, and then you want to uh, do a lot of die-cast models, then yeah, it's not worth creating just 200. It's much cheaper to create a mold for a resin model, so this is why they can afford creating just 200 pieces limited series. So I will now cut it here, gently, and remove it. Good, and then I will also remove here the flags. Once again, we have this presidential flag, the French flag, all right. And then let me cut this, okay, and also remove the tape here with the paper, okay, it's, it looks quite okay. Look at the driver once again, the eyes, how it looks like, yeah, so quite nicely painted. This one is actually glued in, so you can't really remove it, he's holding the steering wheel, as you can see here. And yeah, you can't really manipulate it. Uh, what you can do with the president, uh, you can place him here and then he will hold uh, this frame. Or you can just place him outside and he will he would be standing in front of the car. But okay, now the problem that I will be solving is how to remove it from the base. And probably you see here that there is no hole for the screws because they just covered it with this fabric so I will need to locate actually where the screws are I feel I actually feel here there should be a hole maybe two holes so one here and here I usually cut it with my knife make a little hole and then remove the screws the same somewhere in the front yeah so ah, I feel one here second one or maybe there is only one. No, there should be two. One here and second here. Okay, so now I will pause the video. I will uh, just remove it and then I will restart it. All right, so it should be unscrewed now. Yeah, all right. Look at that. Now, finally, I can place it somewhere else. Okay, 
All right, so let's place the car here. And I'm just quite curious, this broken piece, this what I showed you before, where it, is it from? Okay, so maybe somewhere the undercarriage could be damaged a little bit. It doesn't look like. Also here the exhaust, it looks intact. Also the rear of the car, I don't know yet, guys. So I would need to maybe investigate a little bit more and maybe replay also this video because usually uh, when I replay the video I see more details than uh, when I'm reviewing. But okay, that, that's fine. Uh, what we will do now is really to take this figure or maybe the, the roof should should go first. Yeah, so let me also again unbox and remove this roof from, from this nice box and Okay, so which one would fit better? So, first one, it would be like this. Yeah, okay, it fits. There is a, a small crack or scratch here. Uh, so just have a look at that. Here there is a small, small scratch. Uh, I obviously didn't do that, it was already there. But other than that, yeah, this car now looks quite okay. But I think I, I will, anyway, I will display it with uh, the folded roof. So now I will just remove it again and I will place there the second one. This one, yeah? Okay, so here we go. Does it fit? Yeah, somehow. There is again a, a gap here, yeah, so you would maybe uh, think that it doesn't fit perfectly, but it's quite okay. Okay, and then we, we don't need this one anymore, so I'll just place it back probably. And yeah, we don't need that. So I will put it back to the box, and maybe later, when I decide that I need a roof, then I will place the roof back. But now we have another box and I promise that this time we have the president figurine Charles de Gaulle. Okay, so let's, let's open this one. And here we go. Come on, come on. Let's pull it out, Mr. Charles. Another president in my collection. I already have the Queen Elizabeth. I have Vladimir Putin. And I have one more dictator actually on the way, but they need to paint it. Yeah? So I ordered a manually painted figure that will fit my Mercedes-Benz G4. Guess who that can be? Maybe you already know him. A famous... German Chancellor Ugh. But this is for another video today. I'm trying to do this I Cannot open this box Ugh. Here we go two more pins Ugh. Okay And let's let's take him out now. I don't want to be too much angry. Yeah, I don't deserve it. Oh, okay, I'm sweaty. All right, look at this Charles de Gaulle and his eyes. His eyes are okay, yeah, maybe, yeah, quite okay. I think he looks realistic. The coat and everything, the tie. There are actually, the one who painted this figure did it quite correctly. I think this is a higher quality than the American diorama figurines for $15. I think this one was is more professional. But now let's place him here because this is where he sh he is supposed to be. And let me now share this with you. All right, so very nice this figurine here. Wow. And with, with the diorama in the background, it really looks cool. 
So now uh, I think that the last remaining step is really to uh, take this out of the box and place it here. There, there is actually a small tiny hole and I'll do it just now. Yeah? And as I said, I, I can choose from two variants uh, and I will probably pick the one without the presidential logo. Yeah, so there is... Oh! God! It's down. There is this one with this cross or whatever it is. Maybe if you are from France, you know, but I am not. So I'm not so familiar with uh, those symbols. What does it mean, actually? That's not a Christian cross. That's something slightly different, right? And then we have the regular French flag. Uh, all right, so what I will do now, I will place this one here. Okay. I'm wondering if I need a little bit of glue. <laughs> okay, but now let's maybe place it back here and uh, Okay, I'll make, maybe I will make uh, some pictures now for a thumbnail of this video. Yes, yeah, so... Okay, great. Super president. Okay. okay, the phone is not broken. Phone is... <laughs> the phone is not broken. Uh, okay, so this is maybe the last view. Yes, yeah? so once again... Citroën 15-6H from 1956 uh, going into my collection and maybe later I will do another video and update of my entire collection so that you see what I actually have. I think the last update I made two years ago well, it's already been some time so yeah maybe now some new great models including this one it really looks awesome yeah so one more time the figures, the seats here, quite nicely done. This glass separating the seating sitting areas. And then the steering wheel, all the gouges and the clusters. Oh, let me maybe focus on that. Okay. You see also the radio. Okay, so maybe there could be a few more figurines here. Also some other crew members. But anyway. I bought this one because I love presidential limousines. I don't have any French one yet. This is the first one in my collection, actually. I usually don't collect Citroën cars. and <laughs> They are a bit inferior, in my opinion, to Mercedes-Benz and to Bentleys and Rolls-Royce. But yeah, why not? It's good to have also some other samples. So great, thank you for watching guys and now probably only the final rating of this beautiful model. It's a Racine one for 315 euro and I love it. So let me now let me know in the comments what you think about this one. Probably it, it will not get many views, yes, yeah? so my expectation is like 1000 views uh, of this video because there are not that many enthusiasts. Uh, interested in this kind of models. I'm one of them, but uh, usually if I publish a Ferrari, Porsche or something like that, it gets many views. But this one, very rare, very special. Nobody's looking for this one. Nobody's searching Google or YouTube uh, to find this one. So yeah, if you found this video, congratulations. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.